The city of Whitehorse has been composting food waste for more than 20 years. It's one of the oldest and largest compost facilities in Canada's north. This compost facility is more than just about reducing waste to landfill or reducing greenhouse gas emissions. The community has been addressing food security for many years. The thin layer of topsoil in the north needs all the organic matter it can get. We will explore how the process and facility has evolved. We applaud the management and operators of this facility because while looking to improve the process, they have kept their eye on the prize, producing quality compost. The Whitehorse facility is an aerated windrow process on a large concrete pad with aeration pipes embedded in the floor and air provided with aeration blowers. The blowers are controlled with timers, which is especially important during the colder winter months. During long periods of minus 40 degrees, aeration of the compost is less about providing adequate oxygen and more about keeping the pile from freezing. Wireless temperature probes record the temperatures in the piles. Whitehorse produces an exceptional quality compost that has been approved for organic use since 2016. The compost process hasn't always been this way. Whitehorse started a residual food and yard waste compost program about 20 years ago. They learned early on that a small turned windrow process did not work so well because the piles froze during the winter and the plastic wrapped around the compost turner drum. In 2012, Whitehorse initiated an aerated windrow pilot with pipes on a gravel base. The windrows maintained optimal temperatures throughout the winter months. The city of Whitehorse further improved the capacity and speed of the pre-processing and screening processes. Starting in 2019, Whitehorse transitioned to the permanent composting pad and improved the ability to add water to the material during composting. It takes a lot of time to move material through the composting process, so we are now exploring ways to further improve the efficiency without compromising product quality. It's been a privilege to be involved with the City of Whitehorse for more than 10 years. What has not evolved is the amount of plastic and other non-compostable material in the food waste coming to this facility. There was a lot of plastic 20 years ago and a lot of plastic today. It's International Compost Awareness Week with a focus on healthy soils. We could spend more time thinking about microplastics and its impact on soil. More about this in the next video. My name is John Paul. I'm a soil scientist and waste management specialist. Thank you.